Hi guys, you are watching OxyVlogs. If this is your first time here and you would like to know more information about life in Dubai, how to get a job in this city, don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't matter if you are a fresh graduate or you are an experienced professional, when you are looking for a job, your resume is the first thing the recruiter is gonna see. So, if you want to get invited for an interview, you need to make your resume stand out. Even if you have a great experience, but you don't know how to create an effective resume, you will not get the call back from the recruiters. So, if you want to impress recruiters and build the resume that will get noticed, you should follow the steps. Recruiters spend on average only 6 seconds reviewing your resume, so it's not enough just to list your uh, education and accomplishments. You need to think strategically and consider your resume as a tool for marketing your individual brand. Your resume should be as clear, concise as possible, uh, show what you've achieved, uh, list all your quantifiable results, numbers and what value you can bring to the future employer. When recruiters are looking at your resume, uh, it should take for them not more than one minute to understand everything about your personality. One of the biggest mistakes most of you make is that you create only one resume and you start sending it to all job openings you see, instead of uh, tailoring your resume to each job. Uh, I know it takes time to customize your resume for every job application, but believe me, you will get much better results. So I advise you read the job description for each job openings, uh, find those keywords and add them to your resume. Many companies in Dubai use ATS, Applicant Tracking System, which basically takes all resumes, splits them out and rank the applicants based on the presence of the keywords in the resume. So it's something uh, which is very important when you're targeting really large organizations in Dubai. Another important thing is the design of your resume. Try to stick to the simple and elegant design. Your resume should look clean, easy to read. Remember, you have only one minute to impress your recruiter. So if your CV looks very overcrowded, it has too many different graphic elements, it will be quite difficult for recruiters to read it. Uh, try to have no more than two pages. Use clean fonts such as Arial, Calibri in 10 to 12 point size. Use bullet points, uh, measurable achievements, and the header of each section should be bolded in 12 point size. Each resume has the contact details on the top, then headline, and below the headline there is experience summary section. This section consists of two columns. These two columns are your skill sets, the transferable skills that you want to market about yourself. So read the job description and try to identify four to six skills that are desired for the role. You should remember that these are measurable skills. You should be able to quantify your experience. Don't write something like highly productive, team player, highly organized. These are soft skills and they shouldn't be listed in this section. You should write uh, something like digital marketing, uh, product management, marketing strategies. Uh, these are measurable skills. When you build your resume, you will provide a few bullet points under each job title. But don't describe your responsibilities. Better focus on your achievements. If you write there your responsibilities, it will look like you just took the information from the job description and it won't impress the recruiter. You should uh, write there your achievements, quantifiable results, you need to show some numbers and only then the recruiter will see that you can bring some value to their company. And the last advice for today, don't forget about LinkedIn. Today recruiters like to check the social media accounts of their potential candidates and LinkedIn is one of the most powerful platforms for job seekers and recruiters today. Recruiters can even approach you on LinkedIn and offer you a job. So make sure that you have the updated profile and it's consistent with your resume. 
So guys, these were my six tips for writing an effective resume. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you find this video useful, don't forget to hit subscribe button. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.